Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Myra's short video series. In this video, we will be talking about tendon profile definition using the wizard feature. So as we know that Myra's has different wizard present over here to define different kinds of bridges. So for the case of PSC bridge, we are having this PSC composite bridge wizard and we can open any existing wizard file that we have previously defined. So I open a wizard file and I will focus on this tendon definition. Suppose we are not having any tendon definition here. So like why is using this guide feature? We can understand that how we can provide the different kinds of tendon profile. So the very first step we need to do here is to define a tendon property. So we will click on this option, click on that. And here we give the name. You can select the material of your tendon and you can give the total tendon area. So we select the strand diameter and number of strands in total then the tendon area will be automatically calculated and here we give the duct diameter then we select the relaxation coefficient based upon the different codes present over here you can select the code and accordingly these factors will be decided to get the long term and short term losses for the tendon losses and here we can select whether the tendon is bonded or unbonded and when we select the tendon type like here you select the pre-tension and post-tension based upon that the long term and short term factors for the losses will be considered so once this tendon property is defined we click on ok we close and here we select the type of tendon profile we are having whether it is straight halved or curved so based upon this you can just see suppose we are having a curved profile something like this I select the type as curved here we select the tendon property and give the number of tendons then in case we are having multiple tendons in the same layer, you can give the spacing between them. Suppose we are having four tendons, so you will give the transverse distance spacing between them and accordingly it will be placed. Then we are having D, that is the distance from the reference line. So here we select the section reference line. So as of now I have selected it as center and I don't have any distance from the center. That is the tendon profile is present at the center. So my D will be zero. Then I will give the H1. So H1 as we can see is the distance from the topmost face on the left side. So this I am having as 0.5, S2 I am having 0.57, S2 is this distance that is the distance at the center of the span from the bottom face. So you can see the profile has been updated as per the definition. Then again, we define the second tendon profile in the similar manner. And then the third. So once this is done, here we give the jacking stress and we select that at what stage the grouting should be done. So I am selecting one stage and we click on add. Here I will give the name as span 1 and click on add. Once this is done, similarly I will select the span 2 and I click on add. So for both the span, the tendon profile has been defined. And you can see how easily we were able to define using this guide diagram. You can select different kinds of profiles and accordingly these factors will be adjusted from here when we select these factors will be adjusted according to these definitions so after this when this is done i click on ok and you can see the tendon profile with the model that has been defined for us so there are other options as well for the definition of tendon like when we go under the structure here under the composite bridge we are having under the PSC bridge we are having tendon template and then we are having the definitions using the conventional approach where you can give the tendon profile using this feature so we will talk about these additional features in the coming videos this was one of the way I hope this video was helpful for you thank you see you in the next